I'm a big fan of labeling things. You might have often seen in my videos that many of my stuffs are labeled. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you my 5 easiest labeling method. Hey guys, I'm Namrata and let's get into the today's topic. My most favorite label system is using stickers. I use these stickers which are store bought and generally they come in only white color. But I like black so I painted them with black color. Then I used a white marker to write item names. What do you think? Isn't it look the same way as the label maker? I know, right? Who doesn't like those perfect pantry photographs with embossed label on it? But not everyone can go for such costly label makers. So here is a shortcut for us. Do tell me in comments below if you like this idea. And if you do, please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. These embossed labels look so amazing on my legume containers. Do try this trick. My second favorite type is using sticky notes. I use sticky notes in very basic way. I write the item names or whatever I want to, then I take a cello tape and just secure the sticky note. The glue that sticky notes comes with is not so good and I have observed that many times these sticky notes comes off right away. So securing them with the cello tape is the trick. I have used this method to label all my art supplies and some random and travel essentials. Very cheap and so stylish method is using good old brown paper to write item name and then tying it with string around the containers. This immediately enhances the look. I kind of get farmhouse vibe from such labeling. This year we made pickle at home, one of the many perks of working from home, isn't it? This labeling method actually suits to the items such as rice, pickle or greens which are stored in glass or ceramic container for a longer period. Another easy method is to make use of only markers. I have two markers, one is black and one is white. The black one is our good old favorite one which we use to write on the whiteboard. I use this marker for frequently changed containers such as rice flour and maida are not permanent residents in my pantry. So for such occasional items I use black marker if the container is white and if it is of any other color or transparent container then I go for white marker. Also it's very easy to remove ink by nail paint remover pads. I just love this white marker. The matte finishing of the letters is so pretty. And of course, handwritten labels has our personal touch. The most easy and lazy way to label is using cello tips. If your handwriting is good, then you will love this type. Paste a cello tape of your color choice on the place which needs to be labeled and write on it with a marker. That's all. I'm not a fan of this method, but uh, at some places it works good. Removing it is way easier than any labeling method. But I personally do not like the kind of sticky residue it leaves behind. So either we can paste a new sellotape on the same place or use a nail pen remover to clean the space. I hope you guys must have got at least a one idea and a little inspiration to be more organized. If in any way you found this video useful, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. 
I will see you in the next video with such cool ideas.